हेलो फ्रेंड लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑफ वीकली न्यूज़पेपर फास्ट न्यूज रिगार्डिंग आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑन थर्सडे इनागोरेटेड द न्यूली रिभैम्ड एंड अपग्रेडेड राजपथ ही आल्सो रीनेम्ड द राजपथ एज कर्तव्य पथ मींस डेडिकेटेड टू ड्यूटी सो फ्रॉम थर्सडे राजपथ विल बी कॉल्ड एज कर्तव्य पथ ही ऑल्सो अनवेल्ड द ट्वेंटी नाइन फिट टॉल स्टैचू ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट फ्रीडम फाइटर नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस इन द कैनोपी बिफोर द इंडिया गेट आई उल शो यू द इनोग्रेशन सेरिमनी पूर्व में एक कैनोपी और ये उसी कैनोपी का एक व्यंगम दृश्य बिफोर शोइंग यू द वीडियो आई विल शो यू द लोकेशन वेट द स्टैचू ऑफ सुभाष चंद्र बोस इज गोइंग वॉज अनवेल्ड आई विल शो यू द लोकेशन इन न्यू डेली सो look at this is india gate okay so this is india gate and this is rashtrapati bhavan okay so from india gate to rashtrapati bhavan this road is was previously called as rajpath but now it is renamed as kartavya path the gps google map also renamed it as kartavya path now i will show you something so this is india gate before india gate there are two important location one is national war memorial then the canopy then the india gate so netaji subhash chandra bos statue was unveiled in the canopy okay i, I will show you the picture of canopy so after canopy that is india gate and then after india gate this is the first crossing road and from this crossing road this road is called as kartavya path this road is called as kartavya path and there are parallel canal water body parallelly running with the kartavya path okay and total this area is total greenery greenery area with seating arrangement and Uh, small small shopping center newly installed by cpwd okay so this is uh, this is the first crossing then the kartavya path started then second crossing okay then continue then it then came the third crossing okay then come the fourth crossing and from this fourth crossing it is written as rashtrapati bhavan view point means at this fourth crossing you can see the rashtrapati bhavan then after fourth crossing this is the fifth and last crossing okay up to which vehicular movement is allowed this is the fifth crossing okay this is actually a double crossing now <coughs> the, if you go right side to this double crossing you will find the parliament house or you can say the old parliament house okay this is the lok sabha this is rajya sabha and this is the canteen and in the center this is the central hall of parliament and a new building of parliament is under construction okay and and the location of the new building is in this triangular area in this triangular area that is central vista project new parliament house this is the location of lok sabha and this is the location of rajya sabha i will show you the picture also of the new new parliament house along with the old parliament house okay then come to this double crossing after the double crossing <coughs> you can only walk no vehicular movement is allowed you can only walk through this kartavya path okay and while you are while you are walking you will see there are two massive building in the right side and left side okay block this is called north block this is called south block very important block because 
all the important offices are located in these blocks like in the north in the north block ministry of home affairs then the state bank of india central secretariat okay office of the director general of audit msme technology all important office located in north block uh, similarly in south block there is ministry of defense ministry of external affairs pmo okay so important offices located in this north block south block then if you continue continue move toward rashtrapati bhavan then up to this point this is the rashtrapati bhavan gate you can only walk in this zone okay from this double crossing you can only walk okay uh, because it is highly restricted area now up to this point you can walk uh, uh, th that is called rashtrapati bhavan gate okay beyond this area no private person or vehicular movement is allowed okay so then the area of rashtrapati bhavan started okay so first is joypur kalam then the main building of rashtrapati bhavan this is this, this is the rashtrapati bhavan okay and after rashtrapati bhavan this is mughal garden and this is rose garden okay so so the road between rashtrapati bhavan and india gate which was previously known as uh, rajpath is renamed as kartavya path okay so the so between india gate and national world war memorial this is canopy where the statue of nitish subhash chandra bose was unveiled by prime minister modi so i will show you the video now look at this this is the canopy this is the canopy structure and this is the this is the statue of nitish subhash chandra bose and then after canopy this is india gate and after india gate there are total five number of crossing fifth is the double crossing okay then the walkway through rashtrapati bhavan ye canopy yani chhatri numa sanrachna hai good evening and welcome to the india gate and its bos ki pratima sthapit ki gayi hai jiska udghatan kuch hi der baad man this is the canopy and this is the national wall memorial and india gate is located in this direction प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का कोलकाता एक ठिकाना कारण लगे ना महानगर के आसार कारण चाकी हम सराउंडिंग एरियाटोरिक स्टेटली एंड पॉइंट इंडिया के आज इसकी खूबसूरती उद्घाटन होगा और ये नाम दिया गया है कर्तव्य पथ और ये विहंगम दृश्य जो ऊंचाई से हम देख रहे हैं जैसे पक्षी की शैल प्ले कदम कदम बढ़ाए जा दी आई एन एस सॉन्ग और यहां ये बताना भी आवश्यक फौज का गीत उनके स्वागत के लिए यहां अधिकारीगण मंत्रीगण सभी उपस्थित Prime Minister of India Shri Narendra Modi arriving at the venue greeted by the Minister of State of Housing and Urban Affairs Shri Kaushal Kishore the Minister of State Culture Shri Arjun Ram Meghwal the Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs Shri Hardeep Singh Puri the Minister of Culture Shri J Kishan Reddy and the Minister of State Culture Shrimati Meenakshi Lekhi
जब प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस की प्रतिमा का अनावरण किया Flowers of gratitude and remembrance. One of the greatest freedom fighters India's ever had. जब नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस की विशाल प्रतिमा स्थापित किए जाने की घोषणा की गई थी तब इस घोषणा का स्वागत करते हुए नेताजी की बेटी अनिता बोस पाप ने कहा था कि नेताजी भारतीयों के दिलों में रहते थे रहते हैं और आगे भी रहें ए वेरी प्राउड मोमेंट फॉर द होल कंट्री नाउ द टोटल हाइट ऑफ द स्टैचू इज ट्वेंटी एट फुट एंड इट इज मेड ऑफ ग्रेनाइट ब्लैक ग्रेनाइट ओके so now i will tell you a little bit about our prime minister speech after the uh, ceremony and the uh, related revamp work upgradation work along the rajpath or kartavya path by cpwd so in a very short time P pm modi inaugurates kartavya path says king's way is history now so it is the renaming the main purpose of renaming is to remove the thinking of slavery okay so rajpath remembers us as the slavery period british slavery period okay so pm modi on th thursday said rajpath symbolized india's slavery and has now been consigned to history as he inaugurated the revamped stretch with new name kartavya path and unveiled a statue of nitesh subhash chandra bose at india gate next he said people will see the india of the future in them and its energy will instill them with a new vision for a great india okay then okay that revamped stretch from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate is estimated to have cost around 477 crore okay from india gate to rashtrapati bhavan the the upgradation maintenance work of rajpath and the nitesh subhash chandra bose statue cost total 477 crore and total done by cpwd next is india has now set its own goal own ideals pledges and goals today our paths and symbols are our own the prime minister modi also thanked workers involved in the development of kartavya path and said that they are, they not only built it but also showed the others way of kartavya okay workers involved in construct thing new parliament building will have a special gallery dedicated to them okay very good now that is very important kartavya path is not just a road of bricks and stone but a living example of india's democratic past and all time ideals and will remind those including politicians and bureaucrats walking on the road on of their duty india today is working on cultural infrastructure along with physical digital and transport infrastructure prime minister cited new aims and medical college iits and water connection as examples of social infrastructure rural roads and a record number of modern expressway railways metro new airport are expanding transport infrastructure in an unprecedented manner while optical fiber connectivity for panchayats and record of digital payments have made india's digital infrastructure a topic of global appreciation so that is actually the kartavya we have to do all together okay now the revamp work related to 
what which is done by cpwd so stretch of central vista from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate that will have a red granite walkway with greenery all around refurbished canals state wise food stalls new amenity blocks and vending kiosk okay next is the cpwd has set up five vending zones where 40 vendors each will be allowed and two blocks near the india gate with eight shops each some states have shown their interest to set up their food stall the entire stage has been revamped under the modi government's ambitious central vista redevelopment project it lacked basic amenities means in pre previously it lacked basic amenities like public toilet drinking water street furniture and adequate parking space further there was inadequate signage poor maintenance of water features and haphazard parking also a need was failed to organize the republic day parade and other national events in a less disruptive manner with minimal restriction of public movement okay so so that is the reason behind this redevelopment project of kartavyapath kartavyapath will exhibit beautified landscape lawns with walkways added green space refurbished canals new amenity blocks improved signage and vending kiosk okay now i'll show you the top view of the court now this is the old parliament building okay lok sabha rajya sabha then the canteen and center is the central hall of parliament and beside this this is the new central vista project new parliament house this is lok sabha and this is rajya sabha okay and this is the top view of the you know of the kartavya path okay and this is the parallel canal of the kartavya path now this is the canopy where actually the subhash chandra bose statue was unveiled and this is india gate and after india gate this is the first crossing then this is the second crossing third crossing fourth crossing and this is the fifth double crossing where in the right side you will see the parliament house this is the parliament house then you can only walk up to the gate of rashtrapati bhavan and after that you will not allowed to go further okay and this is the north block this is the south block where important government office is located and this is rashtrapati bhavan main building after that that is mughal garden and after that there, there is rose garden okay so this is total cost 477 crore of upgradation of this area including the netesh was chandra bose statue okay then my topic related to hasina sheikh hasina's visit fourth and third day visit and fourth and last day visit okay so we have all already see we have already seen that sheikh hasina first she has a meeting with she had a meeting with uh, our external affairs minister is joshankar then a meeting with our prime minister narendra modi and total seven numbers of memorandum of understanding was signed between the two country in front of the two prime minister the moves regarding water sharing of kushiara river then railway training uh, then re related to uh, space uh, technology sharing and also the prasar bharati broadcasting technology sharing these are the topic uh these 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 are the things the memorandum of understanding was signed between the two country after meeting with prime minister sheikh hasina meets with the uh, congress president rahul gandhi then she met vice president jagdeep dhankar and then she met president draupadi murmu okay now after the all all of this meeting she moved to the ajmer sharif darga Sheikh Hasina India's visit highlights Sheikh Hasina visit Ajmer Sharif Dargah in Rajasthan okay to pray offer sorry to offer pray but before visiting the Ajmer Sharif Dargah an important event was organized by the Bangladesh government 
that is I'll, I'll tell you conferment of bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman student scholarship to 100 student of class 10 and 100 student of class 12 is a homage to indian heroes who made supreme sacrifice for our cause bangladesh pm sheik hasina so it's a student scholarship program 100 student from class 10 and 100 student from class 12 so the student means keen or children of the army indian army who sacrificed their life in the war of liberation war of bangladesh in 1971 okay so their children okay 100 students from class 10 and 100 students from class 12 will be given scholarship by government of bangladesh and the name of scholarship is bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman student scholarship so this is the some picture you can see our external affairs minister also presented on that ceremony we pay our respect to indian soldier who lost their life during bangladesh liberation war in 1971 it's an honor for us to remember indian brothers and war veterans who sacrificed their life for our independence and sovereignty bangladesh pm sheikh hasina okay <coughs> move to next topic okay between this meeting there are ve another very important meeting between sheikh hasina and gautam adani the business the richest person of asia currently overtaking uh, uh, mukesh ambani the meeting related to uh, you know the uh, distribution of power or transmission of electric power to bangladesh from adani owned Godda power project in Jharkhand. So, Godda, from the Godda power project in Jharkhand, 1600 megawatt power will be delivered to Bangladesh and this project will be done by Adani power. Okay, I will show you the news also. Gautam Adani meets Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina committed to by Bijoy Dibosh. So, Indian business tycoon Gautam Adani Monday met PM Sheikh Hasina in New Delhi and praised her for inspirational and stunningly bold vision for her country. He expressed confidence in the completion of the transmission line under the Godda Power Project to Bangladesh by December this year. Okay, she, he also tweeted, It is an honor to have met Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina in Delhi. Her vision for Bangladesh is inspirational and stunningly bold. We are committed to commissioning our 1600 megawatt Godda power project and ded dedicated transmission line to Bangladesh by Bijoy Dibosh, 16 December 2022. So, wh wh where is the location of Godda power project? In Jharkhand. I will show you. So, this is the location of Godda power project in Jharkhand. Okay. So, in Jharkhand, this is Godda and this is the part and this is the Adani power project. Okay. This is this is the Adani power project in Jharkhand. From this power project, a dedicated transmit through the through a dedicated transmission line, electricity will be supplied to Bangladesh. Okay. Move to next topic. Uh, related to cabinet approves PM Sri scheme. So, I have already discussed about PM Sri scheme that is the the object of this scheme is it, it is actually announced on the day of uh, teachers day that is 5th September by Prime Minister Modi. The objective of this scheme is the center will pick total 14,500 school, school pri government uh, primary government school okay or municipality school okay or government undertaking school the condition of that school is not good 
and go the central government structure as well as the education syllabus of that school as per new education policy 2020 okay that is the that is the objective of this scheme pm school for rising india pm sri scheme okay so total 14500 school will be taken up in 5 years from 2020 to 23 Up to 2026-27, in this period, total 14,500 schools will be taken up. A nearly 80% cost will be bared by central government, and 20% cost will be bared by the state government. Okay, both central and state together will upgrade the school with new modern facilities. Okay, with modern syllabus related to new education policy. I'll show you. so school will receive nearly 2 crore per 2 uh, uh, crore and the money will be transferred directly to the school account through direct benefit transfer okay now key features of this scheme as per the new education policy or national education policy okay a curricular structure and teaching style divided into various stages foundational preparatory middle and secondary there are four stage okay so foundational years pre school and grade 1 to 2 involve play based learning then preparatory level 3 to 5 light test book are to be introduced along with some formal classroom teaching then subject teachers are to be introduced at the middle level that is 6 to 8 and lastly secondary stage 9 to 12 will be multidisciplinary in nature with no hard separation between art science and other disciplines so for nursery grade 1 grade 2 play based learning okay as per new education policy so this relating to this new education policy a new infrastructure upgradation will be um, done by by those government schools or government undertaking schools okay so i will tell a little bit difference between some important difference between new education policy and the old education policy okay so as in the previous it was 10 plus 2 format but currently it will be 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 format previously break up was 6 to 16 that is up to 10 then 16 to 18 11 12 but currently class 3 5 8 10 12 exam okay now this is more most important hard separation between art commerce science in previous but no hard separation of art commerce science all will be mixed with curriculum okay so bagless day encouraged so these are the modification in the new education policy okay then move to next topic okay india china to take up remaining lse issue so a joint statement was published by both india and china i'll show you the joint statement so this is the joint statement on 8 september 2022 according to the consensus reached in the 16th round of india china cops commander level meeting the indian and chinese troops in the area of gogra hot spring pp15 have begun to disengage in a coordinated and planned way which is conducive to the peace and tranquility in the border areas so from this position gogra hot spring pp15 from this location both indian and chinese soldier are disengaging okay in a coordinated and planned way okay so at least a small solution they have arrived now uh, disengaged means both are uh, freed the area okay the, both are leaving the area now i will show you the location of this gogra hot spring pp15 
near Leh Ladakh near the Galwan Valley. So, okay, this is the Gogra, this is the Gogra hot spring area. Okay, Gogra hot spring area beside the Galwan Valley and beside the Galwan River. From this area, disengagement of army from both the countries started in a coordinated manner. Okay, very good. Move to next topic. Okay. Okay. India rank 132 in human development index as score drops. I am I am I am searching the news. Mm. Okay, related to human development index. So directly I will show you human development report 21-22. So, finally, we have the human development index and human development rank. Okay. And what is the rank of India? That is 132. I will show you the table. So, this is the table of rank, human development index rank. Like Afghanistan is 180. Okay. So, total I think 190 country, they have published the rank. So, where is India? So, this is India. India is 132. So, previous year India was 131. So, India dropped by 1. Now, why India has this huge uh, ranking? Okay, opposition parties is always raising this issue that human development index India is very back. Okay, rank is 132 out of 189 country. Okay, what is the reason behind it? You to know the reason, you should know the calculation process of human development index. I will show you the calculation process also. So, human development index depends on three parameters one is long and healthy life, number two is knowledge, number three is decent standard of living. Okay, so long and healthy life, okay, in our country it is okay. Then, knowledge knowledge means school school pass okay metric pass that is also okay and decent standard of living that is dependent on gni per capita gni means gross national income per capita that is the point where india is lagging behind because india's population is huge 1.3 billion so total gross national income per capita means total income divided by total population at that in that sector, the GNI is GNI per capita is less than many countries because population is huge. Now, after finding this three data, okay. Now I will show you another thing. That is this dimension: health, education, and standard of living. So, health minimum value is 20, maximum value is 85. Okay. Uh, this is standard data. Then education expected year of schooling. 0 minimum 18 maximum mean year of schooling 0 minimum 15 maximum and gni per capita 100 minimum 75000 maximum this is standard now how you calculate for a country from this formula dimension index actual value minus minimum value by maximum value minus minimum value now i will show you an example you understand now finally the HDI equal to index of health into index of education into index of income whole to the power 1 by 3. Now take an example of Sudan. Okay. So for Sudan life extensions at birth is 65.3 okay. percentage means out of 100 65.3 uh, life expectancy at birth. Then expected year of schooling 7.9, mean year of schooling 3.8 and 
and gross national income per capita is 3829 okay now come to this formula dimension first is first dimension is health okay health minimum 20 maximum 85 so actual value minus minimum maximum value minus minimum value so actual value is 65.3 so 65.3 minus 20 by 85 minus 20.6971 so health index then expected year of schooling index mean year of schooling index and income index all uh, we have found then multiplied all the three index to the power 1 by 3 we get the value 0 0.51 okay so 0 0.51 is very less that's why the rank of sudan is also very high what is the rank of sudan oh sorry here so the rank of sudan is 172 okay so that that is the procedure of calculation of human development index okay move to next topic drdo and indian army successfully conduct six flight test of quick reaction surface to air missile system of odisha coast okay so this is the test picture the drdo and army have successfully completed six flight test of quick reaction surface to air missile system from integrated test train chandipur odisha coast now flight tests were carried out against high speed aerial target mimicking various types of threat to evaluate the capability of the weapon system i will show you the video you will understand It hit the target in the air exact pinpoint target okay okay now come to the news sports news one by one okay first I will tell you sports in which India has participated first is <coughs> the basketball FIBA page is very slow okay fever under 8 and un under 18 asian basket fever under 18 women's asian basketball championship okay uh, interesting fact is the championship is orga is organized in bangalore india fever under 18 women's asian championship but the result is in not favor of india india is relegated out from the competition okay japan australia claims the last spot so who are the participating country india host australia china chinese taipei indonesia japan korea new zealand these are the part total eight number participating out of which japan australia china and chinese taipei these four country advance to the next level okay and india out of the competition you, you will also can see the result of okay like australia versus india this is the result 116.49 next is india korea india lost the match next is india new zealand india also lost the match in a very narrow narrowly then india indonesia again india lost the match india lost their all four match but india showed a, a, a good uh, sportsman spirit okay so better luck next time next is saf women's Competition, football federation women's championship so what are the team involved in the south asian football federation 
टोटल सेवेन नम्बर टी दैट इज इंडिया श्रीलंका बांगलेश नेपाल भूटान पाकिस्तान एंड मालदीव दिस आर द सेवेन कंट्री ना फार्ष्ट मैच विटुईन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान इंडिया ब्लैंक पाकिस्तान थ्री जिरो इन दोपेनर ओके दैट इज द रेजल्ट नो अदार गेम दे कैनट प्ले इवेन उमेन कैनट प्ले क्रिकेट अल्सो सो दैट इज द कंडिशन ओके इंडिया इज अल्सो इंडियन उमेन्स टीम इज अल्सो द डिफेंडिंग चैम्पियन नेक्स्ट न्यूज रिगार्डिंग आवार गोल्डन बॉय नीरज एड एनदार गोल्ड मेडल इन टू हिज शो केज ओके ही ओन द डायमंड लीग टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इन जूरिक सुइजरलैंड Had a groin injury, had to miss the Commonwealth Games, but was really impressive last time out in uh, Lausanne, and that's why. That is why. An absolute superstar back home, as you would expect. Indian nation get right behind him. Only two Diamond League appearances. With a massive throw, more than 88 meter. Okay. and own the gold medal the olympics gold medal winner sniraj chopra own the gold medal the olympic silver and bronze medal winner own the silver and bronze medal winner in this event also okay next come to us open us open so us open we have our men single four semi finalist and women single four semi finalist okay i'll show you the internet is slow mm. okay ओके सो सो वी हैव आवर टू फाइनलिस्ट कार्लोस अलकराज गार्फिया फ्रॉम स्पेन एंड कैस्पर रूड ओके सो दिस आर आवर टू फाइनलाइज्ड इन द यूएस ओपन सो फाइनल विल बी प्लेड ऑन ट्वेल्थ सेप्टेम्बर and in the women's category iga swatik from poland and ons javier from tunisia these are the two finalist in the us open okay okay so these are the total discussion from the weekly newspaper If you like like the video subscribe my channel share the video we will meet tomorrow so this is the basketball team and